guys, so today we're going to be doing a movie commentary on The Conjuring. Yes, um, I don't know why I'm watching this movie. Well, technically I know why. I put up an Instagram vote and I asked you guys for horror recommendations. I have been asking you guys for more horror movies because it seems like you guys like me watching horror movies and freaking the fuck out. So... <laughs> I guess we'll just watch some more horror movies. I told my brother I was watching The Conjuring today and he's like, <laughs> he looked at me like, mm, are you sure about this? So I'm expecting it to be scary, obviously. It's a, an extremely well-known horror movie as well. I have been leaving it and leaving it. I don't know any of the concept of this movie. I don't know who did this movie. I should really check who directed it. I will check. I can't, I'm kind of going into this blind, but I'm assuming it's really scary and I'm going to freak out and that is like my expectations coming into this movie. Most horror movies I'm pretty much just like, I know I'm going to freak out when I'm watching it. Like I just know it. I am prepared. I am prepared to watch it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I try and like hype myself up before watching horror movies just to sort of get into the you know the rhythm get excited you know that kind of thing but honestly sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I don't know I might end up grabbing pillows to hug on to if I get too scared I don't know I don't know the extent of how scary this movie is but I believe it is in my 1001 movies to watch before you die book I think it is so I guess I'll be able to tick it off if it's in that book I'm pretty certain. Okay, well, let's just jump into another horror movie just because I like putting myself through pain, apparently. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? Ooh. Eerie music already. Fantastic. Great start. Ugh. It scares us just thinking about it. Yeah, it does. Really scares me just thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh. Is that Annabelle? Is that the doll? We learned from her that a seven-year-old girl named Annabelle Higgins had died in this apartment. Oh, there's an Annabelle movie. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole universe for the Conjuring movies. Oh, if this does well, should I do the rest of them? I'll reevaluate at the end of this and... See if I want to. She wanted to live with us by inhabiting the doll. Then things got worse. Oh, no shit. What do you think? Of course it would get worse. <laughs> Miss me? Ew, go away. <gasps> oh, you, you. Oh, no. Don't fucking jump scare me. Don't jump scare <gasps> Oh, no. Don't jump scare me. Don't. Oh, they're going to chuck it in the bin and then it's going to get back into their apartment somehow. Dun, 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 dun. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, my. I'm already hyperventilating. I already hate this. I already hate this movie. I already hate it. I don't want to do this. Is the doll just going to be sitting on the ground? Or she's going to turn around. The doll's going to be inside. The doll's going to be in the lounge room. Oh, miss me. I don't want to look at it. Oh, the doll's going to be <gasps> oh, fuck. I don't want to do this. No, the doll's gonna... Oh, Annabelle. We are beyond terrified. Me too. Me too. Demonic spirits don't possess things. They possess people. It wanted to get inside of you. Fantastic. Demonic possession. Great. Fantastic. Yep. So, what are you guys? I mean... What do people call you? Ghost Facers! <laughs> ghost, ghost facers. If this is based off real events or real people, this is, this is, I'm gonna hate it even more. Based on the true story, if this is an actual legit true story, this makes this entirely worse. No, I'm turning this music down. Oh, I hate the music. I hate it because it's too scary. I hate the music. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yay, let's move into the new haunted house. This is smart, isn't it? Oh, I kind of like this zoom, using the zoom on the lens. It's like 
the eyes of the house is like observing them and waiting for them to come inside. That's super creepy. See you, let's go. Follow this dog's instincts. Sadie knows what the hell she's doing. Sadie, stay outside. If this dog, if Sadie, if Sadie dies, I will hate this film and never want to watch it ever again. Oh, it's Renesme. <laughs> oh my God, Renesme's in this. <laughs> Oh, that was a transition. There was a transition. They cut that. They cut that. I don't know if you noticed the blurriness, but there was a transition, I think. Oh, I'm loving the zoom lens. I'm just loving them using the zoom instead of actually moving, physically moving the camera. I don't know why. That just like gives me creepy vibes. I can't really explain it. They did it in Us as well. That's scary too. Don't even get me started on Us. That video we did, don't even want to talk about it. Okay, clap! Is that Joey King? Is that Joey King? Gotcha! Oh, there's a basement down there. Is there stairs? Is there a basement down there? Go away. Basements. No, don't even... Don't even get me started on basements. It is Joey King. <laughs> oh God, kissing booth. How are they doing a third kissing booth? I have no clue. I don't want that. I don't want that to exist. Don't burn your fingers, mate. Don't go down there. Don't go, don't go down there. How is that match not burnt out and burnt his fingers yet? How? Roger. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Maybe you should get a bigger light. <gasps> Son of a... Oh, shh. Wow. <laughs> he sounds like Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. I don't want any girls going down there. Something's gonna happen to the matches. He left the matches on, on the steps. Something's gonna happen to the matches. Something. Something. I don't know what, but something. Something's up with Sadie. I want to leave. Let me leave. I don't want to be in this house anymore. You can't leave her out there. She's all right. I got her on a chain. Oh no, no. Something's gonna come after her and she won't be able to get away because she's on a chain. No. Oh. I might have to grab my dog Zoe if something happens to Sadie. Don't do this to me. No. She's outside, you know, I'm sure she's hungry by now. No, no, something happened to Sadie. No, no. No, something's happened to Sadie. Oh, fuck, Sadie's dead. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Oh, oh I don't want to look at it. Oh, no. Don't show me, Sadie. Don't, no, no. Why? Like, why? Like, I just don't understand why. Like, just, it's a dog, for God's sake. Leave the dog alone. Destroy it, but I would only destroy the vessel. Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. It's gonna grab her feet or something. Something's gonna grab her. Go away. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't... <gasps> oh fuck. I told you it's gonna grab her feet. It's gonna bloody grab her feet. Tuck your feet in your doona. It doesn't matter if you have a sheet, a doona, you always cover your feet up. It freaks me out. Cause like anything can grab you. Oh, creaking doors, creaking doors. I know it's typical horror movies. But I don't care. It doesn't make it any less scary when you know it's going to happen. When you know it happens, even if you can try and prepare yourself for it, you can't prepare yourself for it. No, don't go in there. Do not leave. Leave. No, don't go in there. Close the door. Why are you doing this? Is there something dark in the corner? Ah. Uh... Oh, oh my god. What if something's in the cupboard? Something's in the cupboard. What if something in her room? Oh, fuck. Honey, you got another bruise here. Hmm? Where are her bruises coming from? Maybe she's getting up to some freaky shit at night. <laughs> oh, no, I, no. I don't like seeing animals in pain. No, that's why I hated hereditary. Hereditary, I hated her hereditary because of that fact as well. Who are you talking to? Rory. Rory? When the music stops, you see him in the mirror standing behind you. 
No, lifting my foot up, lifting my foot up onto the bed. Don't even, don't know. Boo, mommy! <gasps> oh, fucking. Can we play hide and clap? This is the worst game ever. Who wants to play that? No one wants to play that. I know I don't want to play that. What if she just like falls down the stairs and she's just like do 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 and like breaks her neck. I hate the reaching out. I hate it so much. Oh, something's in the cupboard. <gasps> it's Rory. It's Rory. I can hear you breathing. Mom, I was in Christine and Nancy's room. Oh, fucking. Oh, tuck your feet. Oh, tuck your feet under your blanket. <gasps> Fuck. Is it Rory? Just gonna tear her off the bed. <gasps> Pull her off the bed. Leave me alone. Is she gonna look under the bed? If she looks under the bed, this sucks. This sucks. I. This sucks. This totally sucks. Don't look under your bed. No! No! I'm grabbing my pillow now. Already. This is early. This is early for grabbing my pillow. No. Oh, the camera spin. Oh, that camera spin. Oh, I hate that camera spin. I hate it so much. Wake Nancy up. Wake Nancy up. Wake up, Nancy. It's looking right at us. Mm. I would whack my laptop right now with this pillow if I could. It's standing right behind you. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> Fuck. That it wants my family dead. I hate it. I hate it so much. <sighs> Dude, be more careful. Or is she doing stuff during her sleep? She's definitely doing something during her sleep. Girls, it's way past your bedtime. Oh, is Rory playing hide and clap? Rory's playing hide and clap. Rory's playing hide and clap. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh my god. What, no one else heard that? No one? Oh, all the photos fell off the wall. I am sure the family would have heard that. Oh, the clap clap. Oh, the clap clap. Is it Rory in the basement? Is Rory in the basement playing clap clap? I don't like this movie. Do I just keep talking and it will be less scary? Do oh, the basement. Oh, you motherfucker. Do not go down there. If you go down there, you're an idiot. It's pitch black. Oh, I hate that shot so much. Don't go down there. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm gonna play the piano. Go clap, clap. <gasps> the matches. She found the matches. Oh, I knew the matches were going to come back around. I knew it. Something's going to come out into the light. Oh, she's going to light another one. Oh my God. No. Want to play hide and clap? Mirror, mirror. All right, come on. Something in the mirror? In the cupboard. <laughs> Fuck this. I hate this movie so much and I don't want to watch it anymore. And I hate it and I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch this anymore. Oh, I hate that shot. That's such a good shot, but I hate it. <gasps>
to the three stages of demonic activity. Infestation, oppression, and possession. The footsteps, the feeling of another presence. We've gotten that. Now, this is where the victim, and it's usually the one who's the most psychologically vulnerable, is targeted. Well, we've gotten those two. Leads them to the third and final stage, possession. The movie is, it's a good scary movie. Like, it's good. Who directed this? Who directed this movie? Who directed it? Because that will give me an instinct on why it's freaky and why it's really good. James Wan. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's worked on like everything, like, you know, Insidious, Jigsaw, all that, Annabelle. I say I'm never gonna watch these movies. I'll probably end up watching them eventually. Like it's shot fantastically. The like the actual camera and shot composition and choice is really great like the handheld the camera zoom just i think it's just it fucks with your head it really fucks with your head i thought i really like how it's composed who's our cinematographer this movie sucks but also it's good it's literally gonna break me like i think this movie is gonna bloody break me i do have to say they're kind of scary too the look of them is actually kind of a little creepy. I don't know what it is. It's just a bit off. That Photoshop, that green screen, that green screen. Don't even get, don't even get me started on that green screen. His name is Rory. He lives here too. Do you mind if I try to see Rory? Oh, that swirl on her face. That looks so cool. Creepy, but cool. Is Rory going to come up behind her somewhere? <gasps> Oh, you, you motherfucker. She doesn't look scared at all. She doesn't not look creeped out at all. I guess she's used to it, right? Yeah? What is it? What, what does she hear? What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Why? Just, just... Why? I hate it. Well, Lorraine and I both feel uh, that what your house needs is a cleansing. Yes. Yes, please. Major cleansing. Cleanse the shit out of this place. It was latched to your back. What? And it doesn't matter where you go. It's gonna follow. Drew, this is Officer Brad. Officer Brad Hamilton, Harrisville, Rhode Island, PD. He's dead. He's gonna die. Yep. He's dead. You're the lucky new cop, huh? He's gonna be the unlucky old cop. He is... he's gone. He is absolutely going to die. She hung herself from that branch right above where you're standing. I wouldn't stand there if I was you. Back it up. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> Pretty far out, isn't it? Yeah, it's groovy. Groovy. Groovy, baby. <laughs> groovy, baby. Oh, I feel like the sound, like editing and sound mixing, is going to be really good in this, like, portion of the movie because they have the mics, like the microphones and stuff. What's in the bottle? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? <laughs> What's in the box? Not you give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? The fucking basement. The basement can just go away. Oh, this looks so good. We're headed down into the cellar where the door's just opened on its own. I love this through the camera, with his microphone. Oh my God, that's so good. I love how this is shot. And you have like just spotlight, just the torch light. Something gonna happen to Brad. <gasps> Fuck. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'd say get inside the house, but like get to safety inside the house. But I don't know if that's even a good idea. Like you should probably just avoid the house altogether. <gasps> altogether. Oh, it's in her bedroom. It's in her bedroom. It's possessed her. Oh my God. She's gonna open the door and she's gonna be perfectly fine. I'm fine. You sick? I woke up just feeling a little nauseous, that's all. Oh, she's possessed. Oh, Carolyn, Carolyn. I think I need the pillow back now. Well, we've definitely gotten to stage three. Possession. We've got stage three down pat now. Okay, we got like 35 minutes left or some shit. Something's gonna happen to Brad. Something is totally gonna happen to Brad. Don't go into rooms by yourself. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Something's on the other side of the window. Something's gonna be in the window. 
Oh, the fucking wind chime. The wind chime. Oh, the chair. The chair. Look what she made me do. Get the fuck out of it. Don't. What? Oh my god, you absolute idiot. You're an idiot. You are so stupid. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? Brad. Oh my god. Something's gonna be. Oh, you. Look what she made me do. Oh my god. You're an idiot. What are you doing? You dumb shit. What is he? What hey. is. Oh. Look what you made me do! It's not fucking safe. It's not safe. It's not bloody safe. This place ain't safe. Follow me. This way. No, thank you. No. Drew. I need a UV light. Find a black light? This would look like a Jackson Pollock painting. You got issues, Quill. Oh, is there another room? The door? Is there another room? Is there a door? Oh, poor Renesme. Poor Renesme. Oh, poor Renesme. Oh, that overhead shot. Oh my god. I hate it, but I love it. I love it, but I hate it. Lorraine, why are you going in there by yourself? Why are you doing that? Rope? Is someone going to be hung with a rope? It's a noose. Oh, it's the noose that the mum hung herself with. Is someone else, someone's going to end up using that. Oh my god, for a second I thought it was going to catch a, around Lorraine's neck. And Lorraine's just done. Just gone. She's in the wall. Lorraine! Music box. Music box, don't look into the mirror. You'll see Rory. You'll see Rory if you look into the mirror. Don't do that. Stop. No, I'm not watching that. I don't, I don't want to watch it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Don't give me a jump scare. <gasps> oh, something feels like it's crawling on my back. Something feels like it's crawling on me. Oh. Her hair! Oh my god, I'm still grabbing her hair! No! Oh, I hate it when people wander off. They just go wandering off places by themselves. Why do you do that? Like, Lorraine, I'm sure you would have learnt over time to not follow voices, or at least have someone with you if you follow a voice. Oh my god, it's a daughter. No! Don't touch the water. Something's gonna drag you in. Or not. Apparently not. I had a vision of Judy. I know it was some kind of warning. She's gonna touch Annabelle. I predict this. She's gonna touch Annabelle. She's gonna touch Annabelle and Annabelle is gonna possess her. The demon is gonna possess her. I don't know if that's gonna be this movie or if it will be another movie. But something's gonna happen with Annabelle. And Judy. But I thought that it follows them, follows her. Even if they go to a motel, they're not safe in the motel, right? Are they safer in a motel? The kids aren't baptized. No, I understand. And the family, they're not members of the church. Oh, come on. He's not gonna do it because they're not part of the religion? Are you kidding me? All right. I'll push it through myself. Yes. That'd be such a dick move if he didn't do that. Are you kidding me? 307. Oh, you... What? What? What, they gave up on that family, so now they're coming to Judy? Judy, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, that shot. Oh, oh, that shot. That, that is, that is a creepy ass shot. It's a great shot, but it's fucking creepy. That is so creepy. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, the door's open. She's gonna go get Annabelle. She's gonna go, she's gonna go get Annabelle. She's gonna get Annabelle. Annabelle. Annabelle, Annabelle. What the fuck? What the fuck did I say? The fucking darkness, the darkness. Oh, someone's there. Oh, something's there. Annabelle. Annabelle. Annabelle's gonna turn his head. Annabelle's gonna turn his head. No. You little bitch. You bitch. I hate Annabelle. I hate Annabelle. I hate Annabelle. <gasps> Is 
Is Annabelle back there? Yeah, Annabelle's back there. You little bitch. You bitch. You're a little bitch. <laughs> She's still in the case. No, she wasn't. She's back there now, but she wasn't. You think I'm gonna let you walk into this alone? I can't lose you. I can't lose you again. <laughs> I can't lose you again. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. Mr. Incredible isn't strong enough. <laughs> Get out of the way! At least Brad's useful for something. <laughs> oh, the gun. Someone's gonna grab the gun. Someone's gonna grab the gun and shoot someone else. Oh, fucking hell. No, Roger. Roger, stop being an idiot. Oh my god, Roger, stop it. This movie is insane. This movie is crazy. Yeah, Brad, do something, Brad. Holy shit. Oh my god, this movie is so stressful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna do it himself. He's gonna do the exorcism himself. I have to do it. The exorcism. <laughs> oh no. This shit is fucked. This movie is fucked up. Oh my god, that upside down shot. Oh, that was like in, um, uh, in, was it us? No. Hereditary? Yeah, like in Hereditary. There's a shot like that in Hereditary. <laughs> I was going to watch The Exorcist soon, but I don't think I want to do that anymore. <laughs> Exorcisms, what the fuck? Don't give in! Don't let her take it! Gotta stop the killing! Stop! No, he can't! He can't stop her else. She'll go die anywhere and kill everyone. Reveal yourself! Run. Ew. Ew. Careful, mate. Don't stab April. Don't stab her. No! Roger, don't do anything stupid. Oh my god. Let her go! God damn it! Let her go! Uh, uh, ew. The shotgun. I fucking knew the shotgun. The shotgun. Emphasize objects. Emphasize objects. By the power of God. I condemn you back to hell! I know you're stronger than serious. You gotta fight it! Keep it going, Roger! You gotta stay with us, alright? What, is this seriously gonna work? Is that gonna work? Encouragement. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Is that what's gonna bring her back? Imagine the beach. Just picture the beach. Is it seriously gonna work? I thought Brad was gonna die, or I thought Drew was gonna die. So no one died. Oh, I thought someone was gonna die. I would have liked someone to die. It's a horror movie. You know, you'd expect someone to die. Oh my god, those kids are gonna be traumatized for life. Like, especially the little ones that have no fucking clue what any of it means. Like, the older ones have a little bit more understanding, but the little one, they're gonna be absolutely scarred for life. Literally, leave Jeannie, leave Jeannie in the bottle. That's a genie's bottle. Well, it looks like a genie's bottle. Ah, oh, I like that. Coming full circle. Oh, please don't show me Rory. Don't show me Rory. I hate music like this. I hate music boxes. I don't want to see it. Oh, okay. So these are based around real people. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what to say about that movie. Oh my god, that movie. <laughs> it was good. It was really good. I actually really like how it was shot. I think it was shot beautifully, like, for a horror movie. Like, it was just shot so creepily. The writing was good. The characters were good. Um, I like the development of Lorraine. I really like Lorraine. Um, Vera something, I think her name is. The actress. I really liked her. I thought she was really good. The actors, good. Renesme, Joey King. You know, so there's familiar faces in there. I don't want to say I enjoyed it because I, 
I didn't really enjoy the experience. I don't usually enjoy the experience of watching horror movies. It depends on the type of horror movie. So like if it's a jump scare one like this, they scare me more. If it's like a psychological, they freak me out as well. I'm not very good at horror. Like some of them okay with this shit I'm not okay with. Like I'm not okay with this stuff. Watching this like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to watch this over and over when I'm editing it. I will never edit this video at night time. I am not going to be watching this at night time. I'll, I'll edit during the day, watch during the day with sunlight, but at night, no thank you. Not gonna happen. The music was really good. Really liked the music. General cinematography was great. Thought the story was pretty interesting and creepy, but I'm a, a little bit confused about the ending. So like they did the exorcism and got the demon out of her, the spirit out of her or whatever. But then what happened to it? Like he sent it back to hell. He said, return to hell. He said, go back to hell. So did it go to hell? I think, I think I'm going to have to research to figure out the ending. I was a little bit confused because like the music box opened up, but we didn't see Rory. I don't think we saw anything in the mirror. Like I didn't notice anything. So I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to do the rest of the Conjuring like universe series? There's like, I think Conjuring 2 and 3, there's Annabelle. Don't expect me to watch these like close together if I am ever going to continue this franchise. Cause really, I don't know if I want to considering this experience. It was, it was, a little too scary for me, I think. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to watch this anymore. This is definitely one of the scariest horror movies I've ever watched. Like, it is freaky. But like for different reasons compared to other movies, like other horror movies that I've watched, like Hereditary, that was scary. That had some jump scares, but that was like fucked up. Midsommar was just like messed up in its own way. But this is like more typical generic horror when you think of like jump scares and that kind of shit and I don't like watching them. Oh my god it's gonna look so funny watching this back. I'm such a scaredy cat. I'm happy I had my pillow to like hug, hug the whole time because I needed something. Well let me know your thoughts on The Conjuring on like The Conjuring like universe like the rest of the films like what's your favorite film in the franchise because there's a lot of them to choose from. I feel like this one's iconic, but you know, maybe the others are good too. I don't know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.